Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Tinker77 and we are back on the Project Ozone 3 server. This is episode 5 and I'm over here by the mob farm that we built in the last episode. And we're going to have to change some things with this and I wanted to explain why. Um, I found out shortly after starting this up that every so often a mob spawns in here. And whether it dies or gets attacked or something happens, but it causes fire to happen. And fire has two bad things about it. The first thing is it causes the light level to be too high so that the uh, mobs don't spawn. And the second thing that happens, which is kind of bad, is that the fire actually consumes the cursed earth. Okay, so I'm going to go around here. And it shouldn't take very long to show you this example. You can already hear the fire. Okay, I'm going to turn these off real quick so that I don't get killed when I go back in there to, to uh, put the fire out. Hopefully I get there before the... Uh, the cursed earth gets destroyed but basically that's a big problem is that i don't know how to you can see there's flames in here and it starts to consume the whole thing now you got to be quick because this this fire spreads very 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 fast okay and you can see i've got places here i've tried different things with height and stuff and i just cannot seem to get this to work i'm going to play with it for a little bit more and if i find something out uh, that works i will let you know but i don't think this design is going to be able to do what we want Unfortunately, okay? So let me go uh, clean up some of these holes, see if I can get stuff to not cause fire in here, and then I will be back. All right, guys, this farm just doesn't work the way I want it to with the cursed earth. So I'm going to try to build another farm out the back here. I'm going to go back out that way. I'm going to go out uh, probably 32 blocks. I thought I had 32 here. Uh, we're going to go 32 blocks, and then we're going to, from there, set up another platform, and we're just going to use regular old spawning rules. So I'll stand over this way, and we'll see things spawn over there, and we'll use the mob crusher that we have, and that should work. Okay, so I'm going to build out a little platform here, and when I get back, you can see how it looks. One of the things that we noticed from last time was that the transfer pipes were not transferring uh, the items fast enough, so we're going to start to make some uh, different things here. I'm going to go with the various ducts. And we're going to make servos. So let me make some of these servos here first. I obviously need glass and iron nuggets and iron uh, ingots and some redstone. So let's get some redstone. Where is my redstone? There's some redstone. I have leadstone flux. We don't need that. Let's get some iron here. And oh, we just need a couple pieces of nuggets. There we go. Let's make... Um, I got some glass too. Where's my glass? There's some glass coming in. I'm cooking some up right now. And we'll do this right here, and we'll get two of these servos. That'll work. And the other thing I need to get is a, some fluid duct right here. And I guess I could go with the clear ones. I mean, that looks kind of cool for fluid. Um, so let's try that. And it takes copper, so let's get some copper here. Okay, let me do that here. And we've got six of those. And let's get item ducts. I'm hoping that this will transfer faster. Okay, there's lots of these various item ducts. And it takes tin and hardened. Ooh, I don't want that. We may have to do a regular an opaque item duct. I don't know. I'd like to have something that just shows the items going through. That's kind of cool. But uh, we'll just go with this then. Tin and lead. Okay, so where is the tin? Where is my lead? Am I out of lead, guys? I think I'm out of lead. I may have to go and get some more lead from sifting here. No, there's some lead. Okay, we're good. Okay, so we're going to make some of these. There we go. Okay, so let's go over here real quick. I'm going to show you what I've set up here. I made the platform. I've kind of decorated it out. I haven't put up fences yet, obviously. And I have put down basically the layout of the items. Now, I made the floor obsidian in case... Uh, something blows up like a creeper that it won't blow the floor out and we just lose everything. I should do it with the sides, but I probably won't do it with the sides. I don't know. Anyway, here we are. We have this here, and I'm going to use, first of all, the fluid ducts. I'm going to come out of the bottom here. Okay, you can see it went over to the barrel. And then we're going to put on top of that right there a servo. We're going to go onto the servo, and we're going to just say... I think just all you have to do is hit that, so it's ignored. Now the top here, we're going to have a line coming out, and this is the ducts here, like that, and that'll feed into the crate, and you can see it's empty, and what we're going to do is put the other servo on it, okay, and there we go. So this should work, so if an item gets put in here, it should then go into the crate. Now um, I could probably make these out of obsidian if we wanted to. These, uh, real quick, 
these are the redstone lamps and I have them set up and I've double checked but basically when I flip these all three on it will illuminate the area so nothing should be able to spawn in there so I'm gonna go check let's go check and see if we have any obsidian and I have set up a place over here where it should be generating obsidian for us and so maybe we can make some walls and get this thing built here okay so here we go how much do we have here not a lot we got a stack so it just continuously generates obsidian so we're gonna go all the way around with this and see if I can get this built up all the way so we go like this here here we go and I want this to be now see there's some light problems right there for now I'm gonna put a torch down I'm gonna go up three high so one two and we got third already we're gonna put two here okay and there's another place for a torch right there okay so I got <laughs> I don't want anything to get blown up or anything to happen so I'm torching everything up with this Okay, let's go around this corner. So if anything does blow up inside of here, I'm hoping that it won't destroy anything because of the fact that it's made out of obsidian. Okay, so there we go. Okay, nice. Let's do this side. Now, see, you can see I'm running out of obsidian already. In fact, we won't be able to do much more than this. So I'm going to have to wait for the system to generate some more, and it is. So let me wait for that. Let me get that done here in just a second. And when I get back, I'll probably have the fencing done as well, and we can see how this is going to work. So this should be the last of the obsidian I need. I put slabs on top so that the mobs won't spawn on top of the building. And I've turned the lights on in here. So as soon as I uh, get done here, uh, this should, I can turn this on. It should be active, I think, um, as long as this works. Let's see here. Okay, it's completely filled up. Now you notice there's nothing in here. So we're going to give this a shot. We're going to turn off all of these lights, which means... It should be pitch black inside of there okay but because we're close it shouldn't you can see also it has all the stuff is spawning in there is this letting light in this is letting light in okay so we're going to make a design change here guys let me figure this out really quick here and i'll be right back okay i've run a line from underneath there fortunately when i placed it against that obsidian block right there it actually connected up and it was easy to put the server on and I'm going to put a block right here so we shouldn't fall through here. I'm going to put the crate back and it should be hooked up then. Okay. Now this line up here, we're not going to be using. Let me get this out of here real quick. Okay. And hopefully we'll get our servo back. We did. And now I'm going to put the fluid duct back like that. And we're going to put on the servo and turn it on. And one piece of redstone. Or redstone. I mean obsidian. <laughs> And there we go. Now, we do have to get power here. And I know I put that power thing away somewhere. I forgot about that. And we should really turn that on uh, with some power. So it might be in this chest here. There it is. Wireless transmitter. Wireless RF transmitter. And uh, I put it... Last time, you remember, I had the obsidian... Or the obsidian. The redstone lamp above this. And I found that the switch was canceling how this works. But now this should work fine. Okay, so it should have power now. Let's double check. You can see it's gaining RF. Hopefully that'll work. So everything should be good. Let's turn off the farm lights. Here we go. Now, like I said, because I'm close, closer than 24 blocks, it means things shouldn't spawn. So we're going to go over past this point right up here, and we're going to wait around for a minute, and we're going to see if stuff spawns. Now, one of the things I'm going to do here in a little bit is I think I'm going to go over to the slime island over here. By going over this way, cutting over, and then going up. Now, I have created already a crate right here and the bonsai pot, hopping bonsai pot, so that hopefully we can get some soil over there and a sapling. And then with that, we should be able to grow slime here all the time. Okay? So now, this has been running. It Hopefully, things have spawned since it's dark inside and we, we're away. So let's go see if we have any items. And if it does, then it works. Um, I don't care about the rate as much as I just care about with us getting stuff. And you can see we are getting some things. So that's fantastic. In fact, we got a torch. I like, I like torches. So you can see it's working on that stuff. Now, let's see. Do we have stuff in here already? No, nothing is inside of here at the moment. I don't know why things would still be showing up, but they are. But uh, yeah, it looks like things are working. Okay, and the essence is going in here. We have about 23,000 um, out of 4,000 possible. Or sorry, 23,000 out of 4 million that we can use. So it looks like it's working. So we'll just leave that on and we'll just go over there every so often and check what we've got. 
and we'll see what goes on. Okay, I'm gonna get some other supplies, transition some things, and we're gonna head over to that island right over there. Okay, we still have problems. Can you hear the flames in there? I'm not sure if you can hear that or not. Sounds like um, stuff is on fire in there. I'm gonna turn the lights on for a safety issue, and we're gonna go see if we can figure out what is causing that. Um, actually, I use these blocks, these are pretty easy. And I'm gonna make a little staircase so I can get up there. Come in from the top because I don't have an, a diamond pick. But let's go look what's going on here. Yeah, see, we've got flyer in here, and I'm not sure what causes the fire to appear. The other thing is we have drops. I wonder if maybe um, they're dropping like torches or something like that. Maybe we need to get some sort of um, some sort of like vacuum chest or something. I don't know. That's probably. A good idea. Well, now we're out of here. Let's vein mine this back. I don't care if anything dropped. So let's think about this. If we get a, I'm gonna put a torch on here too, just in case. Um, if we get some sort of vacuum hopper or absorption hopper, that should work, right? Wouldn't you say? So what does it take here? Um. The absorption hopper takes an eye of ender, some obsidian, and a hopper. So I think I have a pearl. Let me go check and uh, see if we have that. And then we got to figure out how will we hook it up then, because we don't need this line going down here. We probably would have to. Um, I don't know. Well, uh, let me think about that because this will be getting items too because it's the mob killer. So maybe we need to do something else with this. Um, but I like how this mob crusher works. So, I think the absorption hops will work the best. It's also, a vacuum chest would work. Um, and we need, for that, iron and a chest, it looks like, and a pulsating crystal, which is just a diamond and eight of that. And that is just an ender pearl. So, either way, we need an ender pearl. Um, I don't know which way I'm going to go. Let me go and try to figure this out. Okay, I do have my pearl on me, and I've been thinking about the two items we can use a vacuum chest or the absorption hopper for that section and i really think the vacuum chest is the better way to do it because i think it would block light okay but to make that we need to make first a simple alloy smelter this should be pretty easy for us we've got most of the stuff anyway with all the iron we have here i got some iron on me so let's just see if i can do this okay uh we need to get um another grain of infinity though and that is a little bit tricky where is my Flint and steel. Does anybody see that? I always lose stuff in my storage area. Flint. There's some flint. More flint. We got plenty of flint, don't we? There it is. Okay. So what we have to do over here is run down here and light this thing on fire. And we wait for a minute and it should give us some grains of infinity. Now I also saw we need to have some um, iron bars. We'll do that. Come on. Give me the stuff. Should pop out like popcorn. It didn't do it, guys. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Um, you hear it burning, though. So then, let's see. We need to get the uh, alloy smelter here. Uh, some furnaces. Do I have any furnaces? I have one. Do I have any more cobble in here that I can just grab some cobble? I was hoping I had some, though. Did this give us one here? No, still. Oh, my gosh. Come on. Okay. Let's make another furnace. There we go. We got that. What else do we need here? We need some stone gears. There's one. There you heard it hop, pop. That was it. And I guess that'll work too. I got two of... Hold on. I don't care which one I have two of. I just got to have two of the same one. Okay. Well, we got an achievement for that. And let's see here. I don't need probably sticks. <laughs> I got lots of sticks. Okay. Let's do this. Let's get an alloy smelter here. Oops, nope. This piece here. That's the center part. And then we go here and we get all of that. And we have it. There we go. I don't know if we get an achievement for that. I have no idea, but I'm going to put it right here. Okay, and there it is. It's getting power. Now, if we put iron and the pearl in here and we're using it up, you can see it's going to slowly make the device we need or the piece that we need. Here we go. Pulsating iron. Excellent. Okay, now 
We got all of that, and we just gotta get a diamond. And I certainly hope I have a diamond, but I have a feeling that I am out of diamonds. I have an emerald. I don't have any diamonds. Okay, so to get a diamond, we gotta do some sifting, I think, here. Uh, gravel, basically. A bunch of gravel. If we just get one diamond, we'll be good. So I need to store some of this stuff off here. I need to keep that with me, but I don't care about any of this, really. I'm just throwing stuff in chests right now. And we need gravel. There we go. I'm going to grab a lot of this. And I'm going to run over here, and I'm going to start sieving this and see if I can get a diamond. Because if I can get one diamond, and I'm going to press the Z key, get that trick up there. You can see that way I can see what comes in. And there's no diamonds there. There is some an emerald. And there's a diamond. Okay. I'm going to stop right here. And we'll just finish this up. Okay. Okay, so now we know we have a diamond, and we want to make, do that, and there's the pulsating crystal, excellent. Okay, so now if we take the iron back, uh, we're just about ready to make the vacuum chest, okay? Just takes a chest and a bunch of iron, I got the iron, and I need to get a chest. Probably need some wood for that, right? There we go, okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, guys, we got a vacuum chest. Okay, so now I'm going to bring this over here. We probably have to make another servo, too, now that I think about it. Uh, we're going to go over here, and we're going to put it on top of that right there, or where that is. Now, I realize that I'm using a very, very bad pickaxe for this, so <laughs> I'll be back once this gets done breaking. Okay, I have put this in here, and there is a show range function here, so I'm going to hit that. And you can kind of see how it puts the blue area. I want to make sure this blue area gets to the last row here. And it doesn't. It needs to go at least one, two more blocks that way. And it will capture everything inside of there. So let's see if we can change the range to nine. It can't. Hmm. We can go lower. We can't go more. Interesting. Um, let's see. What else can we do? Well, we could put it in the center inside of there. Let me, let me uh, get rid of that, and let's go in here. Let me, let me walk in. This is a lot easier than taking out obsidian here. Okay. So, if we put it right in the center line here, one, two, three, four, it'd be right here, this block, which I'm going to have to break again, then it should capture anything that gets destroyed or dropped in this area. It should go into the vacuum chest immediately, and hopefully that will stop anything from causing a fire to burn. Um... I'm hoping. So let me do that. I'm going to run a line underneath here. Um, it's going to take me a while. I'm going to have to take out a full row of obsidian to get over to the line where we put in the item conduit. So item duct. So yeah, it's going to take me a little while. Ugh. Just picked up some obsidian and we're going to try this again. I have run the line over to this point from over there. I don't know if you can see it right here, but it's going all the way over to the vacuum chest. Okay. And so let's just do a quick test here. So we see we have uh, we don't have a pulsating iron nugget in here. So if I drop this inside here, it got sucked into there and it should come through and eventually show up here if everything is working right. We'll give it a second. The conduits take a little bit as they move things. Okay, so we're just going to wait just a second here. Come on. Is it still in this chest here? No, it has gone out. So it should be here. And there it is. Okay, so that definitely worked. Okay, we're going to put down the, the mob crusher. There it is there. We're going to add into that the card. We're going to put a piece of obsidian down right there. It's now closed up inside. We're going to give it power. And now we're going to turn off the lights. And hopefully nothing catches fire. If this doesn't work, I don't know what we can do with an automated mob farm. So let's see. Okay. Um, everything should be running. It's gaining power. Um... So let's go over here for just a little bit and see what happens. I usually go over here and I gotta talk for a few minutes here and say something like, hey, we're gonna go and see that uh, slime farm in a little bit. <laughs> That'll be a lot of fun. Once we get that slime and get the tree and the dirt over here, we can just have slime just as much as we want from our own little tree. Okay, so let's go see and listen if we have any fire. I saw something up there and saw something get destroyed. And you can see we're getting something. And I'm listening. And again, there is fire. 
Um, I'm not sure what to do about this, uh, other than putting in some sort of dispenser system to flood the water. I don't know what else to do. Well, let's go look and see what the fire is. And there it is, and I don't see what caused the fire, but that's a bad problem, guys. This should work, this whole entire farm. It should work, it should spawn things, and they should die. But the fire is causing a lot of issues, and I just don't know what that is. If anybody knows, please put down in the comments what is causing the fires to happen. Is there a certain mob type that we can then design the farm against, or, or what have you? I don't know what's going on, but this is really starting to get frustrating, because uh, for this to work, the light levels have to be dark. And I don't know what could be causing it but it doesn't take long before something does um i, I just try, don't know what what else to do except for creating a flushing system so i don't have to keep breaking into here some sort of system where i click click a button and it puts water uh, maybe in the four corners or something and then we that you know undo the uh, fire you know what i mean so um let me research that for a little bit Okay, I'm going to use two dispensers, I think, to flush the system periodically if I hear the flames. Because obviously this won't work if I hear the flames. Okay, so there's one dispenser, and I'm going to put in here. Now let's do a test on this really quick and make sure it, it should flood over the whole entire pretty much area except for this side. But if we do one on the other side, it'll work. Okay, so let's here, let's hit this button again. Okay, that works out great. We're going to put the other one down. Okay. And oh, don't forget my button. <laughs> okay. Did it grab there? I think I should got it. Yeah, I did get it. Okay. And so we're going to take some obsidian here. We're going to put this on top. The button there. Load it up here. I got to get another piece of obsidian. It probably went in here. Yes. Okay. And there. That should then be able to clean the system. I would like to make a common button. And I can do that later. Um, but there you go. So now everything should be good. We'll start this up. And then we'll come back and see if it's flooded or with light. And then we'll flood it with water to get rid of the fires. That'll work out. So I think that'll work for now. I mean, I, I just want to get some drops. Um, you can see we've already got a Wither Skeleton Skull and a Drop of Evil, another one. So, you know, we replace what we lost. So we're, we're doing a lot with this. I think this will work out really well. So I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to wait a few more minutes just to double check it before we go over to Slime Island. Okay, I hear the fire. You know, it's going along. Let's try to put out the fire real quick. We'll hit this. Let the water spread. Hit it again to turn it off. Okay. That should take care of one side. I'll go over here. And the other side should be put out. This is really, really bad for a farm. I don't really care for it, but at least it will work. Okay. So we got a rare loot bag. We got some epic ones too. And I don't think loot bag compression is in this. So I'm just going to take this one and we'll see what it has. Let's just have a little fun here. Enchanted scroll of purification. Another one and another one. And some horse armor and music disc. Wow. Okay. I got to do another one, guys. Not that one. Let's do this one. Uh, Lorium Ipsum and Lorium Ipsum. From Abyssal Craft. Nice. Okay. Well, I'm going to uh, put some stuff away. You can see I've got a lot of stuff here. And I'm going to start to get ready to go over there. This should be kind of fun. We're going to see if we can get the slime things that I want before the end of this episode. Hopefully we will. That'd be great. The sun is coming up. And this is probably the best time to do this. So I'm going to grab uh, one of these wands. And I'm just going to go backwards right here till we get over there and corner over. Okay. So this shouldn't be that bad. Um, actually, let's not do it that way. Let's do it with the regular old, let's moving backwards type of thing. This will be a little bit slower, but that way I, I, I know I don't, like, fall. Because if we fall, we're in the nether and it's a pain. Okay, so I'm going to run this back like this. It's going to take quite a while. I know that there are spots that can have spawns on them. We'll come back and we'll fix that. Now, I'm looking up in the right corner of the screen, and you can see the map. And you can kind of see as we go out, stuff is, like, getting, it's happening here. Um, I'm a little worried. Where is the sun? I wonder if we're in a biome that doesn't have, like, the weather. Okay, I'm a little bit worried about that. But we'll keep on going. So, anyway, yes, the map up at the top 
right of your screen shows how we have far we have to go and hopefully we have enough of this resource to get there um i like to get to the corner and then we'll move over and see what happens okay so like i said i'm a little worried about mob spawning this is gonna be kind of crazy oh no i don't like that there's spots where things can spawn on me and we're getting closer to the island hopefully that there won't be any um slimes on there when we get there to knock us off because that would be also be quite bad so anyway okay guys i know this is boring so i'm going to uh go a little faster now All right, guys, I've gone parallel to this point here, and I really want to start to uh, step up. And I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. As you can see, though, I've got a lot of materials here that I, I don't have a lot, I mean, left. Um, and I'd like to just form steps, and I think I might do this a different way. Um, probably would be easier just to use cobblestone steps, but I thought maybe I'd just do like one a different thing, like where I'm going slowly up. So I'll do like this here really quick. And I just want to have it one layer and then the next layer just do the same thing all the way up there Hopefully because we're close what I'm guessing is that as we get closer to the island the uh, Slimes will not be able to spawn and eventually they'll all jump off anyway, and we won't have any trouble Okay, Actually, I'm gonna put that over on the side So I'm gonna just do this like this kind of a, a stepping process up until I think we're at the right height and then bridge over Okay, almost there Had to get more slabs, but you can see I've made the stairway up there now we're going to go up here and as we get closer to it the range that they can possibly spawn in should lessen okay so you can see they're all always away from there now i'm going to try to get a little bit closer here with the wand and hopefully we can get close enough that this won't bother us here let's see here uh okay we'll do the wand because i've got a double block there that should work okay let's go back a little bit there's that Okay, and I'm going to put another torch up here. Now, see, as I stand on here, I think that they will take, like, spawn on the back side of it. So if I keep on getting closer, I'm, I'm just hoping that this is right. I would think so, that the, that the spawn rules would not let it spawn because they're too close to me. Okay. Okay, so see, this, there's probably less in on the, the uh, island now. Let's put another torch down. We're going to get closer here. And once I get over there, I can torch the place up. See, he's coming over. He sees me. But he can't get to me, which is good. Let's do a couple more of these. Hopefully I don't get knocked off. Okay. Where are we now? We're really close, guys. Really close to getting on this island. And uh, that'll be fantastic. Okay, let's do this one more time here. Okay. And it should be just right here, see? Let's put another torch here. Now let's start torching this up and let's get rid of slimes we're getting slime and some loot bags and things but if i start to put this all the way around here so that nothing can spawn on the island we'll be safe okay so you can see i have all the uh, blocks there the um the x's the yellow x's so we're just putting these down making sure we have nothing on here can spawn it will be safe okay that's good doesn't that look good? Okay. And we're getting loot bags. Oh, this is awesome. This is awesome, guys. Anything over there? No. Okay, now I don't know if they can spawn in the water or not. Um, but there's a lot of... Look at all the loot bags. Oh, my gosh. That's just nuts. I mean, I, I'm already full up. <laughs> And that's, that's, uh, oh, is there a way up here? Okay, there's a way up. Now, I only came over here really, okay, there we go, we're out. I only came up here to get some, um, a sapling and some of the dirt. So let's grab the dirt first. Okay, there we have some dirt. Give me the dirt back, please. There we go. Okay, and now I need to get a sapling. 
And uh, I brought a crook with me just in case. So let's just crook one tree and see if we can get a sapling. And there it went. I saw it go down. Um, we need to get... There they are. Blue slime saplings. That's what I wanted to get. Now, with that, we should be able to just go right up back to our base, put it down, and into the bonsai hopping pot, and get slime to our heart's content. And we don't have to worry about the island spawning things. Now, it looks like there's some stuff on it right now, though. Do you see the red dots on the map? Something must have spawned, and probably spawned either up in the tree or something like that. But that's okay, because we can, we can get rid of the trees now that we have this. So, here we are. We're back at base. I'm going to put this dirt in there first. Okay. And I should now be able to use the blue slime. It doesn't uh, usually work with regular dirt. You have to use a special slime dirt. And you can see it's growing up. It's up there 90%. Boom, it's done. And we get slime ball, congealed slime blocks, and uh, slimy leaves. So that's excellent. Okay, I'm going to go and secure that island uh, off camera here. And then I'll be back. Oh, yeah. Uh, light level doesn't matter for slimes. Ah! But it won't let anything else spawn up there, which is good. Okay, so um, yeah, this could be like our this could be like our loot bag farm. You know what I mean? We get tons of loot bags here from killing these guys. Uh oh, I'm underwater. I don't want to die here. Uh, let's get out of the water. I'm not so worried about the smaller ones. Those big ones though are a pain. Hi, guy. There you go. You're gone. Yep, we're gathering up all this stuff. Look at all this stuff. That's just amazing to me that there's all this stuff here to get. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to figure out how or we should probably block this off. We don't need to come back here. I don't want them to come over to me. So let's uh, put up a wall right here. And that should prevent anything from that island to get to us. Um, so we are, we are basically safe. And I could over here put like a break the uh, cobblestone walkway so that they can't get through that either. So I think that that might be really good. Uh, we're doing fantastic already. This is great. Let's go check the mob farm, see if it's probably on fire again, which it probably is. Uh, we'll have to fix that somehow. Let me uh, knock these three out. Actually, these six. So I would like this to be like normal. I don't think I have any of that type of slab. We'll put those slabs in there eventually. And let's go check, like I said, check the mob farm. See if there's anything happening or on fire. It'd be great if it was just working without catching fire. I don't know what that is. Again, if anybody knows what causes that, and please put it down in the comment section. I can hear it there. Put out the fires. There we go. Have we gotten good stuff here? We did. We got a witch hat, too. That's pretty cool. We got some legendary loot bags. Nice. So it does work. It's just that it catches fire and then nothing happens. Um, let's see. The fire should be gone now. And there we go. Okay. All right, guys. That's all I've got time for today. Uh, we moved the mob farm. We still are having troubles with it. So uh, don't follow my designs <laughs> if you try it in your world. Um, until I figure out what's going on with that fire thing, I don't know. Uh, the mob farms really aren't working. I don't know how any mob farm could work um, with fire being caused inside of your farm because, of course, it creates the light level problem, which means mobs don't spawn. So, uh, yeah, we've got to figure that one out. Hopefully someone out there has made a design that's a lot better than this, and hopefully it's automated. So, anyway, um, yes. If you like this video, please click that like button. If you're here and you're new, hey, why not subscribe? It would really help out. And I do appreciate it. And also, if you subscribe or you are subscribed, please don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all the notifications. And once again, if you have any comments on this video, please put them down in the comment section, especially things that might help me solve my uh, fire problem. Okay? So anyway, guys, thanks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.